Yeah. Okay, so to perform the seated reach exercise, first off, we're going to take a, a foot position that's roughly about hips width. It can be a little bit wider, um, so more like a, an athletic position. Um, with your feet, they can be pointing out slightly, so five, ten degrees is fine. We just don't want them pointing out too far. So five, ten degrees is fine, or we'll just have them pointing straight. So from that position there, we just want to get our spine in a neutral position, and we're just going to break at the hips, so pushing our hips back and then bending out the knees, trying to keep our shins at a vertical angle as much as possible, and then we're just going to reach forward and just go to that point of stretch. So just go to that point where you feel that restriction um, really starts to increase. So just breathing out, breathing in, breathing out with your breath, and just same thing, breaking out the hips, then bending out the knees, and just going to that point of stretch. So from the side, it'll sort of depend on your own um, specific makeup, how your uh, biomechanics work. But in general, side view, having that neutral spine, so we're not hyperextending our back, or we're not crunching forward at our ribs. So a nice neutral position there, and we're just gonna breathe out, hips back, bend the knees, and just go to that point of restriction and coming back up. Okay, so if that's a little bit too hard, or you find a little bit too uh, challenging, or you need a little bit of support, um, simply just do the same exercise at home, um, onto a chair, onto a bed or something, something that will give you that little bit of support. So if you feel you're gonna, you're gonna fall back, you've got that, that support, that the saviour there. So that's another option um, if you're not quite comfortable doing the, the uh, sit and reach by itself with body weight. All right, thanks guys.